Hello and welcome back here for another episode of Random Drifting here on Assetto Corsa. We'll be doing a random drift track with a number generator and a random car. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. Let's do it. So we are randomly selecting a number here on this dock to find out a track to run 166 and we are looking at rick's tandem park i believe i have this track i may not have this track so we're going to go to rick's tandem track first we may get a secondary track set up or just run it in rick's so we can download Rick's tandem track. So now we need to get to random cars. So we have random car numbers 9 through 109. So we're going to change this up. 9 through 109. And we're going to just randomly generate this and see what we come up with. 74. ACW Nissan 180SX Type 4. BN Sport Type 4. Why does that car... Oh, okay. I would say, why does that car seem familiar? But we're going to double check it, make sure we don't already have that car. So we're going to pull up and get our track installed. Rick's Tandem Park. And then we're going to get the ACW RPS S13. That name sounds super familiar to me. So we're going to go RPS in here. I don't think we have we I don't believe we have this car. We do not. So we will be running the S13 here in this episode at Rick's Tandem Park. Once we load in, we'll take a look at the car real quick and then we will go from there. There it is. Oh, so it's just a standard 180SX. So, I'm not sure why my content manager decides to load very slow recently, but it is. Oh, so it's a basically a street car. I mean, I'm down for some street drifting. So, we're going to go full send on it. We are it looks like we have 469 horsepower. So, let's get up set on Rick's tandem track. Rick's tandem park. And that is where we're going to go. All right, so we're going to get the wheel cam and everything turned on. And I believe this car seems like it might just be a World of Drift Tours car modified with maybe a little bit more power or possibly just some liveries and stuff like that. But we will divulge that once we get into the car. It does look like it has World of Drift Tour gear sets, World of Drift Tours tires. So this may just be a liveried out. We'll drift towards car. Correct me if I'm wrong. But we're going to go full send on it. We're definitely going to have to increase that game volume a little bit more. Because this car is pretty quiet. I'm like maxed out in my game audio. Maxed out in all that audio. Well... I hit the wrong button. Full send. Mike Wazowski chilling right there. I don't know why it went into first instead of uh, third. So this does not feel like a World of Drift Course car. by any means, but the track is actually really flowing. Third gear hero. All the all the tire noise from this car. Throw it out here. So I've been noticing recently that my shifter is actually missing shifts, so I'm going to have to be taking it apart and adjusting it to make it not miss shifts. I believe I've driven on this track before. It actually seems like a very fun track for streetcars. If you like the little bits of elevation changes. 
We're gonna switch this into first person here in a second. My fancy uh, view button on my stream deck because trying to find the, the button on the wheel when driving is definitely uh, not easy. So overall impressions of this car, it's actually handles quite well. It is very much a street car, given the low power and the world drift tour tires and everything like that. And overall, I actually uh, do like this track a lot. Almost like a little jump drift. You hit that right. Back in the third, though. So, for a random car pull and a random track, I do actually quite like this track. And you know what we're going to do? You know, we're going to take the track with a pro style car and see if we can flow this track in a pro car. We're going to go to the pit section. There was another little road that I kind of want to take a look at. Looks like you could probably cut it short. A little wall tap. So we can kind of cut the track short. Okay. So we're going to go pull a pro car. And we're going to see what the pro car does and see how the pro car does on this track because I feel like the pro car might be too grippy and too fast for this track so we'll switch up to a pro car and then we're going to be right back so we did bring out my pro party car my United Euro Fighter and we're going to see what this car could do here on this track so uh, let's go full send with this Hopping into the third. Oh, we may have to go fourth. I said fourth, not second. Gearbox. Yep, fourth gear seems to be good. Oh man, these these corners are really tight with this grip of this car right now. I have this car so gripped up that it's. Oh yeah, it's not happy with some of these transition changes and stuff like that. But we'll get it. We were just in a streetcar, so we gotta get the flow of this car back. We got to remember this car. This car is definitely very aggressively loud monster. Can handle it once the tires get warmed up. So if you guys like this, you guys want to keep seeing these random drift drives, let me know down in the comment section down below. And make sure you follow me on all social media. A lot of things coming here to the channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode here on a set of Corsa and random drifting. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. See you guys on the track.